Yo, 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 what is going on, everyone? Thanks so much for tuning in, as always. Much appreciated. My name is Dutchline, and in this video, we are starting on the final enclosure of the Japanese village. We have all the edibles in place now, except for the sun bears. And that's the final enclosure that we're going to be creating for this area of the zoo. It's been some time that we've been working on the yeah, Japanese village, but also the Chinese palace, because that's all like together and beside of the... Uh, yeah, older Asian area of the zoo. So the extension that is. And yeah, the sun bears are the final animal that we'll still need an enclosure for. And that's going to be in between the old area and the new one. There's still like a, an open section left. It's not being used as of now. So there will be like a perfect opportunity to get that final animal in place. It's a little bit difficult though. Or at least that was it in the beginning. Uh, because like one and a half years ago when we started this zoo and also that older area of the, uh, the Asian bit. We didn't really work and build the same way as what we're doing now. It's like a couple reasons. Like first off we didn't have the newer items back then. So a couple bits and pieces like actually the items that we see in screen right now. So the little mesh fans and those rocks. Uh, those weren't in the game before. So that's like one reason why it was a little bit difficult. And like right now, in terms if we do build a new enclosure, we pretty much only use those new rocks from the aquatic DLC. So those faux rocks, if I pronounce it correctly. And because like back then we didn't have those, it's sort of like interesting to yeah like mix them sort of up. At the end of the day, it does work. So I'm very thankful and happy for that. Because if it wouldn't work, then it yeah would be another challenge as it is. Uh, but yeah, like overall we uh, we mix them. Just to make sure that it kind of looks similar and all together and as one group. Uh, because if that wasn't the case, then we would have had like two areas that are kind of the same. But because we use like different items and uh, yeah, like it doesn't really work together if we would. Um, it wouldn't really work at all. So like I'm really happy that it did actually turn out the way it did. So what we're doing now is creating some sort of a like barrier for terrain to be behind. And that's one section, and that's the beginning, that is, uh, that will sort of provide and get that sort of difference going in uh, sections. So uh, the older bit, the older Asian area, will be behind that wall. It's not completely blocked, but just to like identify and show where that boundary is, like where the old area is and where the new one is. Mostly it's more for decorations as well, of course. And we'll be using this sort of method in a couple extra sections. You will see that in this video as well. Because you can see we uh, we moved them over. And behind this like bamboo bit and those rocks. That is the enclosure for the giant pandas. And we made those like so long ago. So that's like the difference. Uh, what we're going to be trying to uh, like smooth out as much as possible. So we're making sort of a dent here. And in that dent there will be like these cages and that will provide like the the difference between the two areas like the the boundary and with extra rocks the newer ones but also the older ones we mix them together to make sure that it all like worked out pretty pretty fine so to speak and at the end it does look pretty well so I'm really happy with that uh, but this method will be used in between the buildings on the right ish side of the enclosure like that you can see in screen right now and there's also like one in the back in between, we'll do this method and also a little bit behind it. Those two buildings in screen also need some like readjustments and some upgrades here and there. Because also, same reason. Back then, we didn't have the same amount of items and we didn't really like work the same way as what we're doing now. So it needs some tweaking here and there. Uh, but we make sure that it's sort of up to par and kind of sort of similar to uh, what we've been doing in terms of building style and what type of materials we used. Also in this video, we'll be starting on the rock work. It will be mainly on the side that we are currently working on as of now. We will be adding a second section for the sun bears as well. Uh, because the area itself that we are working in now is a little bit too small. Like we tried to grab a couple sections in just to make the enclosure a little bit bigger. Uh, but unfortunately that didn't really work out as much and as well as I hoped for. So like one of the uh, gatehouse tunnels... There's like the, the big building that you need to walk underneath uh, from to actually reach the Japanese village and also the Chinese palace. Uh, we used one of those tunnels. We tweaked it a little bit so it was accessible for the sun bears. But at the end of the day, it didn't really like gave us the right amount of space that was required 
to fulfill the needs of the sun bear to have like a, a good and big enough enclosure. So what we end up doing is creating a bridge that will go over the path and fill a second area on the yeah like left -ish side so to speak so like this uh this view on the left is like an open spot as well and when we build that bridge it will give the uh, sun bears access to that area as well and at the end of the day with that area combined with this one it did actually fulfill the need and the enclosure itself is big enough now even though they can only live with two uh yeah adults because that's the group size of the sun bears I think we can also talk a little bit in like a little sort of in the future moment. Uh, once again, this is the final enclosure of the Japanese village. So whenever that's done, that pretty much finishes the whole section. There may be like one, maybe two extra videos after the build of the enclosure itself. And there'll be like some tweaking, some extra sections that will have to be filled out. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Like after this enclosure, there will not be a new one in this area. So that means that we have like a new project at hand, a new build, and that'll be the entrance. Currently on Twitch, we're already working in that area, and we pretty much also have like finished the first enclosure there. So if you haven't already, leave a link in the description down below because the live streams on Twitch are always like kind in the future, or at least the videos on YouTube are a bit more in the past. I think that's like a, a better way to say it. The videos on YouTube are always a little bit behind because we use the gameplay from the Twitch streams and turn that into a YouTube video. That's also the reason why these videos are like sort of separated between multiple videos and not really like one enclosure in one video because yeah, the gameplay is not really like sufficient for it. Uh, but the live streams over on Twitch, like very chill. So if you do fancy live streams and you know, like some casual building here and there and actually work on these enclosures live. Then I highly suggest you check out those live streams if you haven't already. So once again, link in the description down below. But for the entrance bit that we talked about with the uh, the first enclosure, I'm not gonna say just yet like which animal it is, or at least not in the YouTube videos, because that will be a bit too far in the future. Uh, but the first enclosure has pretty much been finished already. And like what we end up doing is deleted the whole entrance of the zoo. Uh, because in the beginning also once again we didn't really have like a lot of building materials or at least not as much and as many as what we have now uh, so we yeah like sort of upgrade the entrance area of the zoo and therefore we deleted everything the old indian pfau enclosure the mlane tapir enclosure as well it was like a big building it looked very samey and similar that was also deleted so we started with like a clean canvas so um yeah like the first enclosure and i think there will be like a second one if there's enough space uh, will be like combined with an entrance that will make a new as well and whenever that's all like finished and that whole entrance area is done as well uh, we'll be creating and starting on the european and north american area of the zoo but it's still like far in the future so for now we'll just be finishing the japanese village and uh, asian area in general then do the entrance and then afterwards we'll do that new north america and european dlc area slash section but for now i want to thank you all very much for tuning in much appreciated as always all the links are in the description down below twitch links also instagram twitter if you have it with a discord server as well with like a little planet 2 section going on too so if you do want to like share your builds ask questions etc feel free to use the comment section down below but also make sure to check out the discord server if you have like anything sort of going on planet zoo related but also like for chill chat it's very chill discord server as well so if you do fancy those as well then yeah it'd be great to see you in the discord server too but for now once again thank you all so much for tuning in i'll see you all later stay safe have a good one bye bye